it feels incredible. Like I never expected four nominations, and I'm just just so happy. Like I'm so excited. Yes. Okay. Um, are you excited for the Super Bowl commercial? I am. I am. Shout out to Starry. They held it down. Period. So, it seems like Ice Spice is the latest center of the industry plant conspiracies, and she is finally breaking her silence on what it's like to be in an industry that forces you to sell your soul for fame. Whether you like Ice Spice or not, you gotta admit that she is one of the hottest female rappers right now. But her fame and millions of streams didn't come without a price, and this became obvious to fans during the Super Bowl when every time the screen showed Ice Spice, she was doing one devil sign or the other, and she wore an upside down cross to watch the game. Then there's the fact that she's suddenly hanging around Taylor Swift all the time. Some are saying that it's all part of the selling your soul deal. Others say Taylor is using her as a prop to appeal to her black audience. But did Ice Spice really sell her soul? And is she Taylor Swift's token black friend? Let's find out. When you come to a night like tonight, who are you most excited to see? Well, I'm excited to see my girl Taylor. I saw her walk by, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Y'all friends? Ice Spice has been stirring a lot of controversy lately, as people are starting to connect certain dots that show she may have sold her soul for fame, or at least she's an industry plant, because something about the way her career has exploded in less than five years is, well, strange. I mean, it's not every day a random upcoming female rapper starts bagging major collaborations with top artists like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift and being invited to the biggest awards shows, especially not an upcoming female artist that many people consider mid. So what's the deal? because something definitely ain't adding up. For context, Ice Spice started her music career in college at SUNY Purchase. A producer named Riot saw some of the freestyles she posted on her Instagram and thought they were dope, so he encouraged her to start taking music seriously. Riot started sending her some of the beats he was working on, and since she dropped out of school during her sophomore year, Ice began making music full-time. Then she started posting some of her music on TikTok, gained a massive following, and started building her career. In March 2021, Ice Spice dropped her first official track and music video titled Bully Freestyle and produced by Riot. The song immediately gained traction because she dropped it after her Buss It Challenge video went viral on TikTok. Ice also started refining her artistic voice around this time. So growing up, Ice listened to a lot of Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, and Wu-Tang. But the biggest influence of her sound came from the drill rap culture. Think Pop Smoke, G Herbo, and Chief Keef. Also, if you didn't know, Ice grew up in the Bronx, one of the places where drill rap developed. But unlike typical drill rap, that focused on gang lifestyle and violence, Ice mostly rapped about being a hot girl and doing hot girl things. In 2021, she dropped her second song, No Clarity, which sampled Clarity by Zed. She continued growing her fan base and brand on TikTok, and the kids were loving her content, so a win is a win. Then she hit another breakthrough in her career when she released her On The Radar Freestyle, which rap fans actually unironically liked. In August 2022, Ice released her hot song, Munch and the Music Video, distributed by world star hip hop. By this point, Ice was a proper celebrity and a recognized upcoming female rapper. You know, blogs were talking about her, her fan base was growing, and so were the haters, and she was getting millions of streams every month. In just two years, Ice had created a very impressive brand that centered around her fun lyrics, red hair, and twerking skills. And I'm not even gonna lie, people were feeling it, and it got even better when a screenshot leaked of Drake in Ice Spice's DM saying he liked her track, Munch, five days before it was released. This one had people scratching their heads because how did Drake one of the biggest rappers in the game, listen to her song before it was released and even give it his stamp of approval. It's not like Drake is the master of all things rap, but come on, this is Drake. Things got even more suspicious when, two days after the DM leaked, Ice was spotted with Drake at the OVO Fest in Toronto. At the time, people started shipping Drake and Ice, even though there's like almost 15 years between them. Oh, who even thought that was a good idea? But as suspicious as all of it was, it did get Munch hyped up and it went viral as soon as it dropped. This led people to start speculating that all of it was calculated as part of marketing for the song and the video. It just seemed like too much of a coincidence. One of the reasons why this was such a breakthrough for Ice was that her music was finally past the image of just twerking and clout to something everyone could enjoy. And I mean everyone. You just can't hear lines like Ninja A Eater, he ate it for lunch. B, I'm a baddie. I get what I want without feeling compelled to unleash your inner baddie. Ice started getting invited to clubs and shows to perform that one song and she was everywhere, doing interviews and 
promoting herself. Then Ice went on live stream with Kai Tanat, where she shared a little more about her personality, which led to people thinking, you know, outside all the shenanigans, she's actually pretty cool. In October 2022, Ice played around with the beat of SpongeBob SquarePants and released a sample called Bikini Bottom, which her fans immediately fell in love with. Then she released another hit track, In Her Mood, which also blew up on the internet. By the time Ice dropped her debut EP, Like, Ice was basically ready to conquer the world, but then people started pointing out that Ice wasn't all that for the amount of praise she gets. In particular, other upcoming artists started getting jealous of her because they felt she was mid. At the time, Chica threw sly shades at Ice on Twitter saying, y'all love a mid light skinned rapper. Then she followed up with another tweet that said, screaming at the quotes because I have yet to say a name and never would because it's not a critique of her but of the public and how easy it is rise when you're not discernibly black, dark skinned especially. But everyone knew she was talking about Ice Spice and by this time, Ice had enough loyal fans for Chica's cooties and comments to be filled with hate from people who disagreed with her tweets. Or maybe they were just proving Chica right about people not wanting to see upcoming dark-skinned black rappers succeed. Then people started comparing Ice Spice to Flo Millie when Billboard crowned Ice the new princess of rap. I can give you two Flo Millie verses better than her entire discography, unreleased and deleted. When Flo Millie got word that she was being compared to Ice Spice, she quickly shut it down with her own posts. I wish y'all would stop with this tired ass narrative, y'all love to push about my career. And stop mentioning me while trying to degrade another artist, it's weird. Anyway, it was obvious people didn't like Ice Spice's success because they believed she was only benefiting from pretty privilege and the fact that she is racially ambiguous. However, there was a whole other conspiracy aspect of this saying Ice actually got so successful so fast because she sold her soul for fame. One thing that gagged everyone about Ice is that she had bagged a collaboration with Nicki just two years into her career as a recording artist. When she first released some of her viral songs like Munch, people thought for sure Ice would soon become irrelevant because she was a one-hit wonder. But the opposite happened, actually. After doing Princess Diana with Nicki, Ice worked with her again for Barbie World, one of the tracks on the Barbie movie soundtrack. Then there's the collaboration with Taylor Swift for the song Karma, which peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Global 200. In 2023 alone, Ice Spice had four songs that peaked within the Billboard Hot 100 Top 10, including the remix of Boys a Liar with Pink Pantherist, so basically Ice Spice is on a roll. But y'all already know that nothing about the music industry is coincidental and there are no free lunches. People have started speculating that one of the things that got Ice Spice to where she is today is allowing herself to be used by more successful artists as their token friend. Take Drake, for example. We all know how Drake likes to keep up with the trends and be around younger artists to make himself look cool and hip. It was no different with Ice Spice. Then there's Ice's friendship with Nicki, which people believe is just a PR stunt for Nicki. Nikki. However, the craziest of them all is Ice's friendship with Taylor Swift. Now, there are different theories on why their friendship is controversial, and all of them involve Taylor using the friendship as some sort of acceptability card. So, it all started in February 2023, when Taylor's ex, Matt Healy, went on The Adam Friedland Show and laughed at racist comments made about Ice. Now, Matt Healy didn't just kiki about the jokes. The host said Ice was an Inuit Spice Girl and chubby Chinese lady, while trying to mimic her in some ridiculous Chinese and Hawaiian accent accents. And Matt was like, haha, that's what Ice Spice is like. Then he said Ice was dumb, recalling when he tried to message her on Instagram. It was bad enough that the episode had to be deleted from Spotify and Apple Music, but Matt didn't feel sorry for the comments he made. He even tried to gaslight everyone for getting angry in an interview with The New Yorker, where he said it was all just a little jokey joke to bait people during the podcast and how dare anyone be angry with him. He said everything he said during the podcast shouldn't matter to fans, and if it does, you're either deluded or or you are, sorry, a liar. You're either lying that you are hurt or you're a bit mental for being hurt. Obviously this was bad, bad for Taylor Swift and her media team probably took one look at the situation and knew their asses were getting fired if they didn't fix it immediately. People started dragging Taylor for never speaking on important issues and playing the innocent white woman card every time she was asked to take a stand on controversial issues. But then Taylor started hanging out more with Ice and she even made a tweet praising Ice to the moon and back. I'm a massive fan of this brilliant artist, and after getting to know her, I can confirm, she is the one to watch. So delighted to say that Karma featuring the incredible Ice Spice will be out tomorrow. Since then, many people have just accepted that Taylor and Ice will continue being friends no matter what anyone has to say about it. Meanwhile, people started focusing on Ice's beef with Lado, which is just kind of an offshoot of Nicki's beef with Megan Thee Stallion. Ice Spice's latest song, Thank You The Sh Fart, is supposedly a diss aimed at Lato, especially the lines, Thank You The S B, You Not Even The Fart. 
fart. Now, the reason why this beef is relevant is that although it's kind of an offshoot of Nikki's beef with Megan, the main issue is people comparing Ice Spice to Lotto. Many people believe Ice is not half as talented as Lotto, and Lotto has been in the game much longer, so she should have the accomplishments Ice has. Lotto responded with her own diss track, Sunday Service, where she rapped, Think I'm the S, B, I know it ho. Jesus walked on water. I got ice boiling though. Although she later said she wasn't referring to Ice, one of Ice's fans reacted to the video saying, Lotto is a liar. She's clearly jealous and envious of Ice Spice. Ice got two Nikki features and Lotto got none. Also, because Nikki pays Lotto dust now, she thought she could have a Meg moment by beefing with Ice. It's tired at this point, but let's see how the song charts. Then a Lotto fan said, I'm sorry, anyone who says that Lotto can't rap is a hater. Anyone who says that she's lying about this beef with Ice Spice is delusional. She raps very well, better than most out right now. Also, she didn't care about beefing with Nikki. Who the F is Ice Spice to lie about? But while the world was distracted with this so-called beef, Ice shocked everyone again when she and Taylor were spotted attending the Super Bowl together. This stirred up a lot of controversy, from people saying Taylor was using Ice to people saying Ice had sold her soul for fame. I can't even lie. The entire Super Bowl was giving agenda. It was giving Hollywood dark secrets that no one needs to know about. First, it was really weird that most of the Super Bowl promotion centered around Taylor Swift and her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. Then there's the fact that many viewers felt that the entire show was staged and that everything was propaganda. I mean, the freaking president tweeted this. There was also Kanye wearing this weird hat with a symbol of Jesus on the cross and a Alicia Keys doing a pose that people felt was similar. But of all the weird things that happened during the Super Bowl, the weirdest was probably Ice and Taylor hanging out while Taylor was just up there guzzling alcohol. As for Ice Spice, throughout the game, she would throw up devil horn signs when the camera was on her. And it didn't even seem like she was just maybe doing a little dance to some music in her head, which is weird in itself. It seemed like she made a point to do the signs every time she noticed the camera was facing her. And people watching the Super Bowl couldn't help but point out that that was one of the signs of someone who had joined the Illuminati. Then there's the fact that she was wearing an upside down cross, which was also very weird, because Ice has actually been seen wearing a cross on her chain many times, and none of them have been upside down crosses. Some people were even trying to say the pendant wasn't an upside down cross, that it just happened to look that way. However, others pointed out that the chain was from Playboy Cardi, who is famously known for wearing upside down crosses. So why did she decide to wear a cross upside down now? Well, it seems people have concluded that Ice sold her soul, and that's the reason why she had to be at the Super Bowl, which became the second most viewed Super Bowl ever. And it's crazy because outside of turning the wheels of some propaganda machine, what does Ice, a new 24-year-old artist, have in common with Taylor, a 34-year-old music industry veteran? Someone quoted a clip of Ice Spice throwing up signs on X saying, nothing to see here, just Taylor Swift's guest, Ice Spice, throwing up demonic signs while wearing the upside down cross, making sure the world sees it on the big screen. Demons. Another person said, Ice Spice doing the devil signs and wearing an upside upside down cross at the Super Bowl. Yeah, she sold her soul. What's crazy is that according to sources close to Ice, the pressures of fame are starting to get to her, and she might even be regretting some of the things she did to get to where she is, including, you know, selling her soul. However, an insider source said Ice still has to keep up the appearance of being okay with everything going on because it's all part of the package. So, we're likely to see Ice in even more controversies in the next couple of months. Meanwhile, people have been slamming Taylor again for using Ice Spice as a prop. Taylor Swift is only friends with Ice Spice out of convenience. She had a racist XBC, and out of all the black people to be cool with, she picked a literal industry plant when Taylor has been in the industry for over a decade. Like, why is this your first time being seen with ninjas in a public setting? PR stunt, just like her relationship with Travis, her ex Matt Healy made some racist remarks about Ice Spice. And to save her image, she made a random song with Ice and now treats Ice like a personal raggedy Ann doll to pull out whenever she's rumored to not like black people. But now I want to know what y'all think about Taylor Swift's and Ice Spice's relationship. Also, do you think Ice really sold her soul for fame? Share your thoughts down below and we'll see you in the next video.